Alright, so in this tutorial I'll be showing you how I got my Hollands connected to ROS running on WSL, which I use on Windows. So here you can see my ROS TCP endpoint running and connected to my Hollands application. So if I run this publisher, you can see it's updating on my Hollands as well as in WSL. Okay, so to get started, you're going to want to go to my GitHub and go to this test workspace. And here you're going to want to download the WSL2 network files. And in here, you'll see that there's a few steps that you can follow. So first, if you don't have WSL2 running already, then you're going to want to follow this YouTube tutorial here. And this will kind of this will give you a quick overview on how to get WSL2 on Windows. Then you'll want to download ROS just as normal. And then after you do that, you're going to want to down, um, run this hyperv.bat file. So to do that, what you can do is follow these steps here from this link. And it basically tells you how to make that file, uh, save it, and then run it. And it'll automatically download Hyper-V Manager for you. So for example, if I go here and I go down to my Hyper-V file, right-click it, run as administrator, it should start downloading. Um, one other thing you'll want to do is you'll need to go to the Microsoft Store and download this, the Windows subsystem for Linux preview. And this will let you get a bridge connection. And so once you download WSL2 and then you download this, it'll automatically apply to your WSL environment as well. That, that was the case for me. So next you'll want to go to Hyper-V Manager once that's installed. And then here you'll want to go to Virtual Switch Manager. And then you'll want to create a virtual switch. Name it something you, you'll remember. So um, like I named mine WSL2. So here I have WSL2, and then I connect it to whatever network I need to bridge over. So mine is like my Wi-Fi card since I'm using Wi-Fi. Then you click apply and okay. And then you'll probably want to restart your computer. Um, I found that my internet was very slow until I restarted. So then the virtual switch started working. And once you do that, you'll want to put this WSL config file in your user profiles directory. So if I copy this, I paste it in file store, I should find this WSL config file. If you already have one, then you can just go into that. And then you'll want to apply these settings here. And so basically we have the networking mode equals bridge, and then the VM switch is equal to what we named it in our Hyper-V manager. Now, if you want to check if this is working correctly, you can type in processors equals like four. And then if I open up a PowerShell and then I do WSL shutdown, let's see, I'll exit out, open up again. Then we do WSL end prop. you'll see that we now have four processors running. So we know that the WSL config is in the right place. So I'll delete that and I'll do, I'll shut down again. So basically once you have those settings, then we should be good to go. So when you open up this Windows subsystem for Linux, I'm running on Ubuntu 20.04 and ROS Noetic. So if I go to my test workspace, I source it. And you can just uh, clone this test workspace that you have here, following these steps into a workspace. <clears throat> then if I do ROS launch, ROS TCP endpoint, endpoint with the IP. Um, well, actually, I'll show you right here. 
my IP is equal to my local area network. And so then I can do the ROS launch, ROS TCP endpoints. And do that the same in the HoloLens application. And then what I would do here is ROS run and call clock publisher into the sim time talker. That's what it will just publish the sim time that I used in the demo. And that's all here. And then if you want to test this quickly on the HoloLens, you can go to my HoloLens base project uh, repository, go to my assets, and then go to scenes. And you can open up this WSL2 test scene, which you saw at the beginning of the video, and test your network connection. And this is actually a virtual switch. So it's not uh, directly bridged the same, I would say. So I think if you go into like your command prompt and you do IP config, you'll see that the WSL ethernet, like virtual ethernet has this IP address, but I, I couldn't, I don't see like my regular ethernet address um, of my Windows system. So I'm not sure what this Hyper-V does exactly but it works for me, so I didn't, I'll figure this out later. Let me know if it helps.